Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it'll take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, you can call my brother Luke in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2000 Road Trek 200 Popular. All right, folks, it's time for the inside portion of today's video tour. As always, we will start at the front, make our way towards the rear of the coach. We'll then come back towards the front. Gonna try to get you a few different angles so you can get a feel for the space inside this RV as well as the overall condition. We are a small family owned and operated dealership. My father started this business back in 1976. My brother and myself have taken over the day-to-day -day operations. For starters here, down here we have the propane furnace. Uh, behind the driver's seat here, we do have a table. This is the style that is in, on a swing out arm. Uh, there is no post that goes into the floor right here. Uh, this is on, excuse me, this one's on an arm that swings out and in between the two front seats here. We do have a CB directly over the driver's head there if you like talking to the semi truck drivers. Breaker, breaker, one nine. This here's the rubber ducky. Uh, three way refrigerator will run on 12 volt electricity, 110 volt electricity, or propane gas. We do consider ourselves to be a no pressure sales place. We welcome you to take up to eight hours during our normal operating business hours, touring this one or any one of our RVs. We want you to be happy with your purchase and make sure that you find the RV that's right for you. Being the 200 popular, this is a three person unit. We can get a small twin bed up front here. We're gonna swivel this front chair to face inward. We will then use the seat bottom and the seat back to make the bridge across here, which will give you a twin bed there. Uh, sometimes people ask, you can swivel the chair all the way around with the back up here. Uh, that does limit to you if you're a little bit taller. Uh, your feet are gonna push up against the back. If you leave it faced inwards, uh, you can leave your feet hang over a few inches to give you a little more stretching room if you're a little bit taller. So above this third jump seat here, we have our control center. Give me a second to get up here. We have the remote start for your Onan generator. That is an Onan 2800 generator showing 33 hours. Control center here, uh, levels test switch. Hold this one, it's gonna show you how much is each one of your tanks as well as your coach battery. Water pump switch, battery disconnect switch, porch light switch, and your hot water heater switch. Pull a 180 on you here. We're gonna come back to the wardrobe. Nice big wardrobe, has the table or the leg in there for the table that goes in the rear. Uh, does have the racking, actually somebody pulled that out. That is no longer there. Usually there's a rack across there that you can hang your clothes on. They can easily be added back in. They must have stacked things in there instead of hanging things. Again, refrigerator, We've got a pretty good Size prep area here, single basin kitchen sink, has the cutting board cover, gives you a little extra counter space when you're trying to cut stuff and get it ready. You can cut it on there and easily wash it off. Two burner cooktop, stainless backsplash around that, range hood with fan and light. Up top here we have your microwave. All of the cabinetry is oak and anywhere and everywhere that they can put storage and or cabinetry space they do so sometimes people ask me to open up all these cabinets I typically don't open every single one for time's sake uh, this one here's a pretty good size storage cabinet with some shelving in there got an extra curtain inside that one flip back over to the passenger side here uh, this is an accordion style door a little harder to operate with one hand but I got it open there enough that you can see the shelving uh, this is a brand new TV here that my guys installed so this slides out, this swivels on here like so, so you can face that TV towards the front 
or the rear, depending on where you're sitting, so you can watch your TV. Well, that TV does have a built-in DVD player, making it much easier to watch your videos that are on DVD. So being the popular floor plan, this is currently in the twin bed setup. The twin bed setup, you're gonna sleep one person here and one person there. Uh, very popular for people that need to get up and go pee or bathroom in the middle of the night quite a bit. Uh, you each have your own bed, uh, but still easily accessible to get up in the middle of the night. You can make this into one large bed. This uh, nightstand here will sit on the floor. You can kind of see the hinge there, so that board will flip over. We're then going to use the table there. We're going to use that to span this gap here. You then bring the uh, you can either bring the bottom cushions in or you can bring the back cushions down to fill in the center here. Uh, I do believe the Road Trek, I actually just kind of found this out recently. This is my thinking of what Road Trek done. Uh, so we have a split cushion back here. So I believe the way that they intended this to work is you can put this cushion up here. Same with the bigger cushion on this side. You're gonna put your head towards the rear of the coach, so when you're laying there, your head's there, your shoulders are gonna be right here. You're gonna put those cushions there with just this board. You're gonna have a wide bed up top. If you don't use the table to fill in this gap here, that still gives you a little bit of that ease of access to getting it out of the bed, but from basically where this rounded point is here, you have that wide bed there for the top part of your body where your shoulders and stuff are that you need a wider bed. Uh, that's my thinking, not sure if that's what they intended. Uh, just dawned on me the other day that hey, you can still get that nice wide bed with still that little bit of access right here. Slide your feet and kind of sit up and get out a little easier. If you want that bigger bed for your shoulders, if you've got wider shoulders. Take you up top here quick, show you the air conditioning unit. The rear window with the red levers is an emergency exit window. Both of these side windows do open for cross ventilation on those cool mornings and evenings. Who can shave six times in one day and still have a full beard? A barber. Fuse panel and circuit breakers down there. All of our coaches go through a full inspection. This coach does come with a 30 day limited warranty provided to you by us. That warranty does not have any drivetrain coverage that is specifically for your major RV components. Uh, thermostat for your propane furnace up there. The warranty is going to cover your generator, your air conditioner, microwave, um, refrigerator. All of your essential large ticket RV items are going to be covered by that warranty. This is a one owner coach. So it's only had one owner in all 20 years now of its life. Uh, Road Trek style shower. You can see the shower curtain on the ceiling. Fantastic fan in the center of that. So the way that this is going to work, you're actually going to shower in the aisle. You're going to pull the shower curtain around you on this track while you're standing in the aisle. We'll open the wet bath up here now. You can see the commode down bottom. Shower curtain. You got your shower head with your valve in there behind the curtain. So you're going to pull that shower curtain around you while you're standing in the aisle. Uh, this door here, you can see there's a mirror there, but this is actually a two-piece door. There's a hinge on that. That's going to open up, fill this gap here, give you your privacy towards the front. Uh, this cabinet here actually has that double hinge door to give you some privacy towards the rear. We've got the rug in here now. Uh, usually don't get these rugs. Usually they're long gone by now, but you're going to stand in the aisle right here and shower. You can see the drain down there. Uh, this area with this rug here, uh, this is a formed fiberglass drain pan. Stand right there, take your shower, you get all done, dry off, drop your towel on the floor, dry up the floor, and you are ready to get back to camping or go to bed. Uh, this is all sloped to that drain, so as long as you're parked level, that'll go right to that drain there. Again, one owner coach. Uh, if you've watched the video here, you can see it's been pretty well taken care of. Uh, I haven't really found any damage to point out anywhere. All the cushions, fabric, carpet, chairs, 
Uh, everything seems to be in pretty good shape. Of course, it is this lovely, beautiful color that they used back in the late 90s and early, not blue color, uh, colorblind today, this beautiful purple color that they used back in the late 90s and early 2000s, but still in very good shape. Uh, outside shined up very nicely, inside cleaned up beautifully as well. Um, taking into consideration the age, the miles, what should be considered normal wear and tear on a coach that is two, a 2000 model, it's uh, 20 years old now, has 77,000 miles on it. I'm going to call this thing a nine, maybe even as far as nine and a half. Uh, nine and a half might be stretching a little bit because it is 20 years old, uh, but definitely overall a very nice clean coach. One owner, been very well taken care of. Uh, Chevy chassis. It is the wide body. It is the popular. Uh, typically have a little better luck with the popular because you get that twin bed setup. People tend to like that better. Overall, nice, clean, beautiful coach. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. All right, folks, I'm going to run around the outside of this Road Trek 200 popular with you. We are 20 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. The tires are Firestones and have date codes of 0218. We have an 11 foot awning. This does sit on the Chevy 3500 chassis. It is powered by the 5.7 liter V8 engine. The first storage compartment we're gonna to come to here on the passenger's rear corner. Uh, houses a spare tire, a jack in case you do blow a tire. Here on the back wall, uh, we have your awning support arm as well as your crank rod. One of the nice things about the 200 series is this is a pass-through storage. You can access this on either side of the coach. Coming around to the rear of the coach, we have the tow package down bottom. The silver door here where your license plate goes, that actually flips up. Behind that is the access to your propane tank. You can see the exhaust for the generator sticking out here on the driver's side corner. Again, this pass-through storage compartment. Also houses your fresh water connection, your outdoor shower, a white hose there, as well as your shore power cord. Got the gasoline tank, vent and access to your hot water heater, vent and access to the back of the refrigerator, vent for the propane furnace. Got a pretty good, pretty good size storage compartment here. Does have a light up there in the corner. And last but not least, your black and gray water tank dumps. Ooh.